Hello folks, this is Entai and welcome to a new Modern Warfare 3 commentary. We are playing Demolition on the map Arcaden with the um, Striker and I have the, I think, range proficiency on there. And um, yeah, today I got a little nice 10 minute gameplay right here for you guys and this commentary is quite special. And you probably didn't notice by now what is special about this commentary. I mean, it's, it's pretty hard to figure out. I mean, um, but let me tell you, I am speaking English in this uh, commentary. I know, I know. If I uh, wouldn't have said it to you, you probably would not have noticed. But, you know, now that I told you, you probably notice. Ah, okay, that is the difference. It's hard to figure out, like I said. But, um, yeah, welcome to this kind of special commentary, this English commentary, as the third part of my video marathon. And uh, due to popular demand, um, I decided to have as, as a third special this weekend um, uh, an English commentary and the people that participated in the live stream yesterday probably already know about this because in this live stream I rendered this video out to kind of show you what is involved in the commentary making process so um, a few of uh, you probably have already seen this um, like in, in parts and know what is coming you know but um, for everyone else, yeah, today I have um, this English commentary just because many people requested it because they kind of noticed that in commentaries where I just said, uh, um, you know, single English sentences, they noticed, okay, he's quite decent and speaking English, so um, yeah, they decided to write me messages and tell me to make a full-length um English commentary and um, you know yesterday I took my Cambridge um, exam um, for you for those of you who don't know what that is it's basically an exam that you take um, it's it's about four hours I think yeah four hours um, that you have different parts in you have oral part and writing part you know written part um, and uh, at the end, if you succeed in this exam, you get a certification that you're um, pretty, that you're good at English um, from an institution in Cologne. And uh, this will help you to first have better job chances later if you, you know, um, uh, send this certificate with your applications. Um, and second, you are. Um, you are uh, you have a better chance to get scholarships for uh, for example studying in uh, different countries in English speaking countries so it's just a cool thing I had to pay 100 bucks to um, yeah 100 euros to um, yeah participate in that Cambridge exam and um, my topic today kind of fitting to that exam and to uh, the English commentary is how I uh, developed my English skills, how I became um, as good in English as I am right now because as you probably noticed I'm quite decent, not fully without accent but quite decent at speaking English and also using grammar and vocabulary and I will tell you about um, how I got to the point where I am right now. So I got those seven minutes uh, left where I can tell you. So if people ask me how do you speak um, English so well, uh, what I tell them is that about 40% of my English skills are just uh, is, is like talent, like uh, a gift that was given to me if you want to really you know um, say it like that but a gift that is given to me a talent that I have that I'm sort of good at learning the pronunciation of English really quick uh, it's just that in general my strengths are languages um, I'm pretty good at the uh, at German in school uh, at English and um, French and Spanish, I have four languages right now that I'm pretty decent at, um, especially at the pronunciation. Um, and it's just sort of my talent that, you know, kind of languages are my thing. 
um, more than uh, science, for example. That is about 40% of my English skills, but the other 60% is really stuff you do in your life to improve your English. And the first thing, and that is probably the biggest part of those 60%, uh, maybe let's say of those 60, it's about 45% maybe, um, that I have always been kind of part of the English scene. Um, I'm pretty active in, on YouTube, as you all know, and also on uh, in the internet in general. And um, since I started, you know, watching, for example, video tutorials when I wanted to learn stuff uh, for After Effects or, uh, or so, I was always watching American or English people doing those um, tutorials. When I didn't know uh, a word, I just looked it up in the dictionary and that is where I got much of the vocabulary from that I have right now that you don't usually learn in school, um, even if you ha had um, English for about seven years. Um, so, you know, it didn't only help me with, um, you know, extraordinary vocabulary, but also with um, pronunciation, of course, by hearing and reading um, English every day on the internet because it was like a daily thing where I, um, you know, had contact with the language English. You um, adopt the uh, pronunciation of words. You kind of get used to how to use idioms, how to use um, different, uh, yeah, accents, how to pronounce certain words. And that's just what you l learn from just hearing the language. And because of that, also, um, another, you know, 15% of those 60% are basically is time that you spend in English-speaking countries. I spent quite a long time, um, eight weeks in total, um, in America and England, so each, each of them four weeks long, um, and that helped me just by also adopting the pronunciation, being used to uh, speaking English every day, and that is just a big, big part of of improving your English. I can guarantee you, even if you're just um, a bit less than decent in pronunciation, I mean, just pronunciation, it's not about the vocabulary, that is something you need to learn apart from that, but just from the pronunciation, if you're quite decent, um, and then go to, uh, let's say, America, America, um, or USA, if you want it like that, um, for about a year, you will have a very, very good English as far as pronunciation goes. And that is not even, you know, you don't have to be special, uh, specially gifted or something. Your pronunciation will a sound almost like a native speaker. I, I can guarantee you that. So as long as you has, have the chance to spend some time in English-speaking countries, please do it. It's, it's one of the biggest chances that you will have in your life to, um, you know, participate participate, um, for example, in a, in a um, pupil exchange like I did um, in England and in America. It is just such a great opportunity to improve your English, to get to know people from other countries. It's just very exciting and um, yeah, like I said, it improves your English. So that is basically everything behind my English speaking. So I can repeat the steps. 40% um, would be kind of get owned talent or giftedness that you have since your birth so um, it's just I'm I was very very lucky to have the special talent um, to you know uh, be able to learn vocabulary and language pronunciation really quick and the other 60% are the things you do and a big part of that is use English on daily basis just every day um, English and um, the way I did this is to only you know um, watch English videos to only read English on the internet and also for for example, the first commentators that I saw were English commentators. So that is that is sort of um, how you can see 
Um, I, I started out with English videos and then slowly moved into the um, German scene. But whatever, so this is pretty much uh, all I gotta say in this um, particular uh, commentary. I hope I could help you with your English problems. I don't have the gameplay right in front of me, so I have no idea um, what my final score is. I know that it is a decent score. Um, it's just an average score, but the gameplay itself is very action-packed, so I hope, um, yeah, you learned something from this commentary and that the gameplay is not too bad for you. And, um, we are going to see each other back with a normal German commentary in a few days. So, yeah, I would say bye and, um, have a nice day.